observing the M31 uh, Galaxy with the Skywatcher Heritage uh, D114 millimeter eyepiece uh, telescope. It's a Newtonian. I'm using Teleview Panoptic 24 millimeter, and it has widest view possible. I can see M31. I can see M1110. M. Um, 32 i'm not sure i see it or not but uh, it must be there one of the stars in that side so it's quite nice actually i feel I'm as if i'm looking at the top sony on the 12 inch one uh, let me see if i can see any of the dark lanes okay i've not changed to the star guide the ed 12 millimeter magnification is almost double and uh, I can see the core of the M31 I can see M32 easy M32 is visible uh, I'm not sure I'm seeing a dark lane but I'm I mean the one that is under uh, toward the M110 but I can see several uh, no uh, filaments of darkness going toward the center uh, along the uh, you know, axis of the M31 on the top and the bottom of that axis you can see those ones in a good scene rare moments I'm not sure I'm seeing that dark lane I can see it there is of course the um, the glow of the center of the M31 finishes at one point underneath toward the M110 so that's probably a, a, a showing the absence of the light shows the dark lane uh, but I don't see the second dark lane which I can see in the uh, 12 inch Dobsonian I'm now looking with the 5 mm Vixen SLV at the Jupiter um, I can see a lot of details actually, I'm surprised It's not as much as a 120mm uh, Skywatcher uh, DS Pro ED refractor But uh, it's quite impressive uh, Such a simple design And such a small aperture like 114 quite pleasant actually and it's, it's aberration free I don't see any chromatic aberration yeah image is um, lovely and bright but I think if I build a, something like aperture stop practically eliminate the effect of this secondary mirror I may be able to actually get more details in this I've done it previously with tiny two and a half inch ref uh, reflector Newton and reflector and with this one probably is, is really possible um, considering that this uh, Newtonian telescope is quite cheap or is a fraction of the price of a refractor and it comes with its own mount I've installed it on the sky T but it comes with its own uh, kind of tracking mount I actually have to start to use this uh, tracking mount uh, maybe for the next video